welcome to Cardinal Countdown. I'm your host, Brooke Kirchhofer. Football opened up their first home game and first conference game of the season this Saturday against number three, Sam Houston State. The Bearcats would defeat the Cardinals 44-31, giving the boys their third consecutive loss on the season. Coach Woodard is staying positive after a tremendous effort by the offense and defense in the second half, coming back from a 27-point deficit. Very proud of, of the way we kept fighting the second half. Uh, very encouraged that we got a lot of players, a lot of young players that kept playing. Uh, and we did do some things and saw some positive things in the second half. Uh, and we kept fighting it, and, that, and we can build on that. The Cards will have a full two weeks to prepare for their second conference match against Southeastern Louisiana. Big Red will be back in action Saturday, October 1st for the annual pink out game when they host the Lions. The game will kick off at 7 p.m. and will be the team's final 7 p.m. home kickoff of the season. After a tough preseason on the road going 0-12 against nationally ranked opponents, volleyball will get the chance to break the losing streak starting conference play this week. The Lady Cards continue on the road to face Southeastern Louisiana on Thursday and New Orleans on Saturday. Both games are slated for a 7 p.m. start time. It was a battle on the field Friday night under poor conditions in Thibodeau, Louisiana for the women's soccer team. After a 50-minute rain delay, the Lady Cards took to the field to finish out the game in a 0-0 tie and double overtime. Sunday, the girls went on to play LSU and Baton Rouge, falling 4-0. Big Red will be back at home this weekend against Northwestern State on Friday at 7 p.m. and Central Arkansas on Sunday at 1 p.m. Be sure to come out to the soccer complex to support the girls, but also for Military Appreciation Night Friday and Youth Day Sunday as well. The men's golf team opens its fall season today and tomorrow in the Jim Rivers Intercollegiate in Louisiana. The Cards will play 36 holes on Monday and 18 holes on Tuesday. The men's team won't play again until the OGIO Utah Inventational October 3rd. The women's golf team also got underway in their first tournament of the fall season at the Tagnanelli Townsend Inventational Sunday and will finish round two today. Elodie Chapelet is currently holding the tie for the lead after round one. Senior Michael Foyce and junior Benny Schweizer were recently ranked 33rd nationally in the ITA Fall Doubles rankings. Head men's tennis coach Scott Shankles talks on the team's recent successes in the Islander Open. We had a, another doubles team that got to the finals. Uh, it was a brand new team. We literally put these two guys together in practice two days before the tournament because another guy got injured. Um, so it's nice to see a first-time doubles team get to the finals. Uh, they played great, had good communication. They have different games, so it complements the team aspect um, together. So uh, very happy with, with how, they, how they performed over the weekend. Uh, they definitely did well. Thanks for joining us on this week's Cardinal Countdown. Be sure to support your Cardinals by attending the games and following Big Red Sports Network on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. I'm Brooke Kirchhofer. We'll see you next time.